The light from Immortalized. Honestly, who knew such a melodic song could be so heavy in meaning and in instrumentality? Actually, the song blends both soft and vicious vocals by David, so I'm not really sure why I said that first part. But anyway, this song is one of my favorite Disturbed songs because of how relatable and inspiring the message of the song is. If you ever need a song to cheer you up on a bad or sad day, Disturbed's catalog will work exceptionally great. Devour from Believe! Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm in high school and I still can't spell Believe right sometimes. Maybe I should have studied hard in spelling class, but I don't know. You might be wondering why I'm talking about my school life in a Disturbed Top 10. Well, believe it or not, I actually listen to Disturbed when I come home from a rough day of school. So the song holds some sentimental significance to me, and that's why it places number 9 on my Top 10. The song's gloomy and unlit instrumentation, along with the sorrowful vocals, make this song very unique sounding and distinguishable on the album. Remember when I said... If you ever need a song to cheer you up on a bad or sad day, Disturbed's catalog will work exceptionally great. I wasn't joking. Disturbed helped me through middle school. Sour Patch Kids too, but I don't want to make a list. The Game from Motorhead. I oh, know, wait, sorry, that's not right. The Game from The Sickness. This song has hyperactive instrument play and vocals, especially during that chorus. I love how snappy and combative they are, largely due to the fact I enjoy the... Way too much. The scanning is delightful, too. And yes, I enjoyed the Motorhead song too, although this isn't even a cover. If you do want a good cover, check out the Drowning Pool cover. It's wonderful. Forgiven from 10,000 Fist. The song is so melodious with the. But the thing that holds the song back ranking higher, or is it lower? I don't know. Let me know. Is that the rest of the song is as memorable as the. Don't get me wrong, this is still an amazing song, but the. Forgiven the May, forgiven the May, you're just another dead man living the May. 
Yeah, someone's gonna get that stuck in their head. I do enjoy the rest of the song, though, and predominantly the guitar solo, which then goes back into... Around 40 seconds. Inside the Fire from Indestructible. Why, why am I talking like that? The song has some of my favorite instrument paraphernalia. Paraphernal, fa paraphernal, why did I pick words I can't even pronounce? Featured in the Disturbed song and that laugh. <laughs> Sounds so evil and ominous. The guitar solo is miraculous. And I personally think it's better than Forgiven's guitar solo because afterwards it doesn't go into. Okay, I'll stop with that joke. In all sincerity, though, this song is remarkable, one of my favorites off Indestructible. The infection from Asylum! Okay, I gotta stop doing that. If that opening riff doesn't shout glorious, I don't know what does. This song has high strung instruments and soulful yet crude vocals by Damon. Damon? Who's Damon? Damon? Who's Damon? <laughs> if that riff doesn't shout glorious, I don't know what does. This song has high strung instrumentation and soulful yet crude vocals by David. This was one of the first disturbed songs I ever listened to accompanied down with the sickness. How did I find it? Well, on this video called Zombie Spider Man is Awesome. For all you Marvel fanatics, like me, this comic was a part of the Marvel Zombie series, which will kill and demolish your childhood if you grew up watching or reading Marvel stuff. I'm not going to spoil it, but it does get really bloody and gory. Also, don't let your kids read it. Just Stop from 10,000 Fists. Just Stop is such a stunning and artistically pleasing disturbed song. The vocals are radiant, instrumentation is alluring and enticing. The blend of both soft and firm vocals is highly appreciated too in my opinion. Just Stop is just as tuneful as... Okay, okay, last time, last time, last time. But you gotta admit, you at least laughed one time I said the joke. The Night from Indestructible. The Ario's vocals and remarkable instruments give this song a dazzling glare. I also like that car wash music video. Excuse me, sir. Please don't breathe on me. The song is criminally underrated, in my opinion. <laughs>
See what I did there? Criminally, criminal, criminally, criminal. Okay, I'll leave it now. Criminal's an awesome song, too, on Indestructible, by the way. But I like The Night just a little bit more. You're probably wondering what I think of the guitar solo in this one, too. Well, I think it's marvelous. See what it did there? Marvelous because Spider-Man is a Marvel character and we brought up zombie Spider-Man. You get it? No? Okay. I'll stop with the jokes. The vengeful one from Immortalized. Well, I'd be great doing radio. Not sure why, but the beginning gives me I Love It Loud vibes. Like the other songs on the top 10, I like how the song blends both melodic and raw vocals. And yes, the music apparatus is Prasik. Did I say that word right? Brzeek? Huh? I don't know. Let me know. Now, song aside, can we just talk about how mind-blowing the guy is? Like, have they ever made a movie about the guy? I would definitely go see it. And to think this originally started out as a little logo on the Sickness album cover, now my man's is laying his gun in a plant. Trust me, if someone places their weapon in a plant pot, do not mess with them. Trust me, don't. Before we get to number one, here are some quick honorable mentions. Down with the sickness for being the first disturbed song I ever heard. They spam played this on the rock and metal radio stations when I was a kid, along with trenches and centuries. This is still one of my favorite disturbed songs to this day, even if the abuse part is so random and awkward. I don't know why they added that in. This pain from an old disturbed demo tape when they called themselves Brawl. I didn't put this in the top 10 because I doubt, unless you're a hardcore disturbed fan, you've ever heard this song before. But I do like the Pantera style vocals and the thrashy instrumentation used. It's really cool. Indestructible from Indestructible. Indestructible has intoxicating instrumentality and breathtaking vocals. I don't really have much more to say than that, but I did make a video back in 2018 with this song over the Hulk vs. Hulkbuster scene in Avengers 8 of Ultron. Yeah, I bet you didn't know there's so many Marvel references in Disturbed Top 10, huh? And finally, A Reason to Fight from Evolution. This is my all-time favorite Disturbed ballad. Remember when I said, If you ever need a song to cheer you up on a bad or sad day, Disturbed's catalog will work exceptionally great. At the very beginning of the video, well, that definitely applies with this song, and it's one of my favorites by the band. Voices from the Sickness. This was the song that got me into rock and metal as a whole. The vocals were captivating, and the song's opening still gives me chills to this day. There's not one thing I dislike about this song. Vocals, excellent, instruments, outstanding, and the music video is long-standing nostalgia for me. This song as a whole is very memorable, and in my opinion, there's not a dull moment, or a boring moment, throughout the whole song. And there's no... Thanks for watching. Remember to like, subscribe for more top tens in the future. Make sure to leave me your top ten or top five disturbed songs in the comments. I'm so